Hello, you're welcome to part eight of my leadership training. Leadership training using the home front still as uh, a case study. I have dealt extensively, you know, deeply with what I consider the salient things that couples should do to relate well with their families up to the community or even up to our nation if you are projecting the name of your nation badly by engaging in the social behaviors you see that yahoo yahoo are not you know you are not doing well so again welcome back to part eight please like this video, share it, press the subscription button, subscribe to my channel, press the notification button, very important, again, please share, 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 it is very paramount to me, share and subscribe, it's very, very paramount. We're talking about the limitations that you can experience in executing everything that I've been saying from part one to part seven of this program. You will ask me, how does a poor man execute all these things that I'm saying in this in this um, program? The first thing you will say is that well, there will be limitations in terms of money, money to execute them, money to take care of your own families, immediate families, then money to take care of extended members of families, parents, brothers, sisters, and so on, money to take care of your relatives, larger relatives. When I was even talking of mothers, mothers, uh, fathers, fathers, mothers, siblings, fathers, siblings, your siblings, it was a ha, ah, when am I going to rest? How am I going to do it? When I've not even fended for myself. Good, you have made a point. The first thing is you should endeavor to fend for yourself. That's the starting point. Now, I did tell you, I developed my vision for corporate family development when I was yet nothing. When the only thing I have was the hope of a better tomorrow. But I was determined. So, you need to fend for yourself. Whatever it will take. Education is one of them. Educate yourself so that you can get it properly exposed. Have a good career, which you can set up on your own, or work with people so that you can generate the money that you say is coming. And as the monies are coming, little by little, in your little ways, remember your. It starts with your parents. Remember to feed your parents. Remember to feed them. Then not only that, it also begins with your siblings. You came together. You need to help one another. Help your siblings. After dealing with all this, then start helping your mother's relatives, your father's relatives, your grandpas, your grandmas. Oh, yes, it is possible. You can do it within the limit of what you have. At any point in time. Your stepmothers, your stepfathers. Just extend little, little, little. There's one beautiful song that uh, try a little bit of kindness. Just a little bit of kindness to everybody. Let people know that you want to do, but that what you are doing is within the limit of what you have. Nobody says you should go and steal to do all these things. You don't have to yahoo yahoo. You don't have to be fraudulent in your office. You don't have to steal. 
You can borrow sometimes, but it's not even advisable that you borrow to do them because there is no limit. Like I said somewhere in the body of the program, I said African support has no limitation. It is you that will determine how far you can go, but you must do something to go around all these uh, segments that I've talked about. If not, you will not be fulfilled and it will still backfire on you. You are either to be seen as stingy and then sometimes you will be running from your community for fear of being hurt. You know, being, nobody is pursuing you or you are pursuing yourself. You develop imaginary enemies. The greatest limitation you have is money. But the little you have, use it to go around as far as it can go. And more so, all of them are not done at once. It's only your parents that are consistent. Maybe your siblings who are in school and, or learning a trade that you have to start and finish. There's no end to it. So, but the little you can, do it. Let people know. Love people. Let people know that you love them. I always say, it, look, I thank God today. Within my family setting, whenever we are talking, they will say, ah, to the best of your ability, you tried. I'm so satisfied with that. You tried. To the best of the exposures, the limitation of your, of what you have, you, you did the best you can within what you have. That's the best recommendation. To be part of those who is who are earning that today, you, tell, you know, they, you tried. We know, we understand. You can't do more than you have the power and the ability to do. Yet I wanted to do more, but of course, I can't go beyond what observation and how can I? I can't do much of what I could do years back. But I thank God when I had the privilege and up. Again, let me tell you, it's not just a question of money. Help people in terms of sourcing employment for them. You see, you don't have money, but you are in a position. They are recruiting in your organization, or you have friends in places that can recruit members of your family and your friends. Recommend them. Recommend them. Does that involve money now? No. Network. You have a network of friends who can help the younger ones. Recommend them. You are building your society. You are building your let it start from your family. Recommend your members of your family. Then recommend friends. Recommend anybody without tribal or religious or anything bias. Your limitation is that you don't have more employment yourself. But you know those who have. Then empower people in their little ways. Empower people. How do you do it? There are some little, little things you can do to empower people. You see somebody who learned, uh, who learned um, organizing, you can buy the organizing machine, give one to him. You have a, somebody who wants to establish a, a serious-minded person, who wants a young boy, who wants to establish a baby salon, help them. You have to establish by the clippers and the accessories. And if you can if you can help him to rent a shop to start off, you are taking a burden off him and off yourself. Those who are in school, some of them are brilliant, they don't have money. Help them. Pay school fees. Pay exam fees. All these things are not everyday matter. It could be only one person you could help in a year. It's still part of the solution to societal problem. Above all, 
one thing that I know that everybody has is experience. All these things I'm sharing with you, they are born out of the experiences I've had over ye over the years, over throughout my sojourn in life. I don't want to be selfish with them. That's why I'm sharing them with you. If you know what to do and you do it, you will be helping the society, you will be helping yourself. Now, I don't have money to give. I have time. I use the time to help my community. I use the time to support my family. We chat, we do everything. I use the, the talent I have to teach. Which is what I'm doing now. To preach. You see my ministrations on the YouTube. And I'm happy. It is, I, I think I did say somewhere, write your story. Tell your story. It may save lives. So when you are talking, how can I accomplish all? You can now see that it's not all money. Share your experiences. Let them learn on how to do. Direct people. Give counsel. Give uh, direction to people. Sponsor them. Is empower them as much as you can. It doesn't matter how many you can do. And then when they do your community, day, if it is one error, let your name reflect. As much as God blesses you, extend love to the wider society. And don't spoil the name of your country by joining antisocial groups. It doesn't help anybody. So you can see the limitations you are thinking may not even be there. The little money you have, then the knowledge you have in, this, in, 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 every, in your endeavors of life, share them. So you really don't have serious limitations. God bless you. I think I should stop this one here. And I believe I've done justice to how you as a couple, and you can't accomplish them unless you cooperate together. If one is facing the east and one is facing the west. Yeah, you can love it. And you cannot accomplish so much. So be open, be free. Freely God has given to you. Freely give to others so that life will become better for everybody. Now, COVID-19 is a problem in the society. Do you know there are neighbors around you who are seriously affected or impacted and you have some surplus food? Share with them. God bless you. Uh, see you in another set of videos. Just always check on my channel. Almost every day I upload two, three videos on different topics that will benefit you. God bless you as you share. Thumbs up for you. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Remember to share. Remember to press the like button. Remember to subscribe. Remember to press the notification button so that you get to know when I upload more videos. Nice time. Bye for now.